you've said that going back to the time that God brought the universe into existence, you as astronomers have this down to what, 13.8 trillion years. All right, but you're saying that man can only live on this planet for how long? Well, to live in a civilized state where we can be used by God to help him or you know, work with him to bring about the end of evil and suffering, we're looking at about 20 to 40,000 years maximum. So you have a very small window on 14 billion. All of that time leading up to when God put man here on the earth is preparation. Give me an illustration of what that preparation is like. Well, the astronomer that discovered this says this must tell us that there's someone beyond the universe who has an extremely high value and purpose for humanity because of the enormous difference between the minimum time to prepare a place and the maximum time we can live in a civilized state. And a good analogy is a marriage ceremony. It lasts about 20 minutes if you don't count the music. And yet when you look at how much is invested for that 20 minutes, uh, the average American wedding is more than $20,000 and over a year of time is spent preparing for that wedding. But we don't consider it a waste because of how valuable and purposeful those 20 minutes are. Likewise, this enormous inequality we see in the astronomy tells us there must be someone who has a very high value and purpose for human beings. And Genesis 1 actually tells of how God is created, but it comes up to the important part of placing man here. And the whole biblical story is that the Creator then comes into His creation and dies and pays for our sin and is the answer to the, the problem of evil. He's the one that conquers evil. I mean, you know, we're, we're part of the stage, but He's the one that ultimately conquers all evil and actually gives us a pathway where we can be delivered from evil if we so choose. So he's shown us how to do it. He himself paid the penalty for all of our offenses. And if we so desire, we can trade our moral imperfection for his moral perfection and then enter with him into the new creation. 